welcome to Monday's Assembly. It's still the Easter holidays with yesterday being Easter Sunday and we hope that you had a good one. Hope you got a chocolate Easter egg and was able to spend some quality time with your family in your home. Now, it's still the Easter holidays, like I said, but the staff of Newlands are, and the schools all over the country are continuing to work, even the teachers, teaching assistants, the cleaning staff, the office workers, everyone continues to work because we're known as key workers. And as a key worker, we work both at home and at school in order to help the your parents at home with your home learning, as well as helping the parents of other key workers do the jobs that they have to do so that they can keep our country running. Now, we know about some very special key workers, and that's the NHS staff. And every Thursday, I'm sure you're joining me as we give them a really big clap at eight o'clock. Now, there are other key workers out there, and if we didn't have them, we wouldn't be able to stay home and stay safe. And those are people like our care home workers and our people who work in the grocery stores or the people who do all the deliveries to the grocery stores, our police, our firemen our bin men, our postmen, all those people are really important to help keep our country learn, uh, working. Now, our challenge this week has to do with being thankful, for showing gratitude. Now, you know at Newlands, we always talk about being thankful and being grateful for the things that others have done for us. And we're going to do that this week. That's our challenge. We're going to be thanking not only the NHS staff, but all of our key workers in whatever way that we can. And here are some ideas. So we have a lot of people we are key workers and we need to be thankful for, including farmers and carers and shop staff and delivery drivers. We have the well who's been making sure that food is being delivered to families who are in need. And we have the police, including our PCSOs who are looking after us. And don't forget about the care home. We have our lots of care home friends out there that are working hard and our staff at school, as well as a whole host of other key workers that we want to thank. So here's some examples of how we can thank our bin men um, keeping us clean and safe during this time. We wouldn't want to have lots of rubbish around our homes, would we? This helps to take care of us and keep us safe. Or how about our postmen and women who have been ensuring that we get our mail and we get the important information we need or the people who are delivering our parcels or the people who are delivering our food or the veggie man. Children have been thinking of lots of ways to th say thank you, including doing pictures and decorating their yard and using Lego. And they've also been making thank you cards and thank you notes and, and love hearts that thank the people who are keeping us safe. Or how about this boy? He wrote a point about all the key workers. So everyone can take part in this challenge, not only the children of Newlands, but the parents and carers of Newlands as well. I know I've started to get to work on mine. I made one that says, thank you for keeping us safe. And this one is gonna go on my bin. And then I have another one that I've made saying, thank you. This one's gonna go on my door right next to my post box so that our post people can know that I'm thankful for them as well. I'm also going to put this one in my car because I have to drive to work and I want people to know that I'm thankful for keeping me safe because most of the people that are going to be on the roads right now are going to be key, key workers. So I'm going to put that one in my core. Now I'm also trying to start some other ones. So I've made some starting to make some on a sheet and I thought I'd do some nice drawings and colorings and I think I might put that one in my window of my house. Now you might do some signs, you might do some models, you might do a poem, you may even sing a song or create a dance, 
whatever it is. Let's thank the people that have taken care of us over this time, or being we show that we're grateful to them and we're thankful to them and to everybody, including your parents, because if it wasn't for your parents or your carers taking care of you at home, that is another one of those things that help to keep this country safe. All right, so it's time to get together and get working on your challenge. I can't wait to see all the fantastic ideas you have. So make sure you take a picture and you post it on Twitter or send it to your teachers and ask them to send it to me so I can get it together for our Friday assembly because I want to share all of the wonderful thank yous because those thank yous are also going to be shared with all the people across the world. So have a good week. Take care. Listen. Thank you.